Bitcoin just flashed a major signal, one that we need to discuss in this video. Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. Guys, take a look at this. This is the Pi Cycle Bottom. Over the last few days, maybe a week, I have been showing you videos on this Pi Cycle Bottom. Uh, where it is? Bullish week ahead. I think I showed it in here. Uh, but it's a very, or maybe a few before, uh, Bitcoin needs to rise. One of those. It's a very powerful indicator and we need to go through it because it just flashed this Pi Cycle Bottom again. 2022, uh, well, the date where we are now, July. Uh, if it sounded interesting, drop that like. This is powerful because every single time it flashed it in the past, it was the bottom of the Bitcoin cycle, meaning that we could only go up from here on. Now, there's a lot of conspiracies. I'm calling them conspiracies because no one knows. Some people think that it's going up. Or actually, let's call it speculation. Some people believe that uh, it's going up. Some people believe it's going down still. Like It's got a lot more to fall, and it could very well do. But I want to show you the evidence in the charts. And then you can decide yourself what you believe. Uh, before I go any further, this is not financial advice. Please do your further research before you invest your money. Let's take a look what happened last time Bitcoin flashed this major signal. So the pie cycle bottom looks for the bottoms. When the red line crosses with the green line, that usually marks the pie cycle bottom. I've used this blue vertical line downwards to sort of, you know, signal for us where we can, you know, so it's really clean on and we can see where the bottom is. I want to zoom in on this one because it really is important to understand why it's flashed at this time. Like I said, the cross of the red and the green, if you come down at the price and why it's happened now, you can see here that this blue line that I drew, the vertical line, actually matches up pretty spot on to the bottom of this period of the cycle, right? So it was quite spot on then. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to find out, can it actually go lower? I'm just saying. Or, or was there a lower price before that? I don't know, this is the things that we need to uh, check out. So let's just take a look back at the last one before that, which was 2015, this cycle here. So you see Bitcoin's top, back in 2014, 2013, 2014, and all the way through the year, it comes collapsing down, and then the uh, pie cycle bottom flashes the signal for the bottom of the market right here. And if you've been buying down here, you was buying like a boss. Had you been seeing this pie cycle bottom indicator as well, you would have you know, been looking at it here, buying as much as you can, and then riding this price up like a, uh, you know, like a boss. This is a huge wave that you know we saw. And I want to really dive into this one as well. You know, Zoom in, give you a good clean look as to what's going on here. Like I said, the blue line is something that I created. I drew a vertical line. I just want to shim it across just so we can see uh, you know from the moment that the uh, red line crossed with the green line right up here where did it match up to in relation to price and it was actually this green line right here after the bottom and you know I'm just gonna squeeze it down a bit so you can see right so at the top we've got the green and the red line I'm gonna put the blue exactly where it crosses right here and look at which candle it's actually coming in on it's coming in on the next candle which is the green candle after the dump after the bottom and if I move it you know across again you can see here that the lowest price that we actually had was right down here you know, right down here, at, you know, and uh, in that time, 151 quid for one Bitcoin. <laughs> Wouldn't we have loved to have bought it back then? Why am I showing this? Because, you know, this is signaled after the bottom had already come in. Uh, but on the last one, 2018, it signaled at the exact time the bottom had come in. So it's given us a good, clean, sort of precise uh, indicator as to when the bottom may be in. So if this is true, and you know, it's played out pretty spot on in the past, you may be seeing the bottom right now, Bitcoin, in 2022, right here. But you know, again, many people think we're going lower. That you know, it might shock people, we might see a huge spike come up and prices might start to go up. Time will tell. I believe there's gonna be a rally. I believe that there's gonna be either some form of retracement or a rally. And if the rally happens, that could be the beginning of the new bull cycle. Take a look at this as well, which is another powerful chart. Because I used to show it a couple of months back on my, you know, because I used to do it at the Pi cycle. And then I used to show you this one here. This one's called the rainbow chart, the Bitcoin rainbow chart. You can find it, just Google it, Bitcoin rainbow chart. This works a little bit different to the log, uh, log growth curves. Even though it's in the logarithmic scale, it's still uh, a bit different. And you're thinking, what is a log growth scale? Let me just show you. The one on the right hand side is how you would look at a chart normally. But if you want to see it in a logarithmic scale, 
that's what the one on the left looks like, this one here. And this is what you're seeing up here, right? It's in a log growth scale. And if you notice, we have lines that represent the halvening when Bitcoin gets halved every four years. And usually when Bitcoin gets halved, it makes it more scarce, more harder to, to mine for the miners, meaning the price should appreciate and go up because it's harder, more scarce and so on. The next one's supposed to happen in the year 2024. To be precise, March. March the 16th of 2024 is when Bitcoin be halved. And I just want to show you this one because it does look a bit different to the, the standard log growth curves. If you look at this, you can see the blue line. Let me make it a bit bigger. The blue line always represented the bottoms of the bear market. You know, down here, blue, 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 blue. And that was the best times to buy. Here, look, down here, 2018, blue. Even in the crash of the C19, down here, blue, good time to buy. Look where we are right now. We are down here in the blue. So, and you know, on the log growth curves, we were actually out of the log growth curves. If you, you know, if you, if you follow that indicator, this is saying that we're actually in the rainbow chart which is interesting because it you know it gives off a different feed to what the log growth curves gives on the bitmo uh bitmo <laughs> the bitcoin i saw fomo <laughs> i'm reading fomo here and it made me say bitmo anyway um and, and, and essentially that's what these colors are right so basically it is a, as a if it's ever down in the blue it's a fire sale now's the time to buy sell your house sell your wife right because had you sold your house and your wife back then <laughs> You have bought loads of Bitcoin, become mega rich in the future. And that's what it's signaling now. You know, sell your house, sell your wife, because it's in the blue. But we could remain in this blue for a long period of time. Because if you look at this cycle, we were down in this blue. We came up to the green, back into the blue, green, back into the blue. And we were down here for a long period of time. What was this? You know, from 2015 all the way to 2017, we were still in this blue area. And this is why I want to show this, because that's two years. What if we play something similar? What if we remain in this blue area for two years from now? Just want you to think about that. We're talking 2024, where the next uh, halving will be. It could remain in this blue area for a long period of time. But the good thing with this blue area is that it's going up, right? So the price is constantly rising. So right now, you know, at the bottom of it is 19,000. I'm just coming across that 23, 25, 26. You can see, right, 32,000, you see, it's going up, 53,000, uh, sorry, 41,000 down here. So if Bitcoin was to remain in this blue area all the way to the year 2020, uh, 2024, and it was still in the blue area, you'd be looking at a 41,000 pound price for Bitcoin. Chances are it might start to rally up. Every cycle has been different, every single one, and... This cycle looks nothing like the 2018 cycle. And it looks nothing like the 2013, 2014 cycle. So why anyone else is comparing it to it, I don't know. I mean, you know, I can use examples from the last ones, but we can't compare it because it's not been the same because there was always a massive retrace, uh, retrace, uh, get out, retracement <laughs> after the massive crash. So, uh, and if you want to treat this like a full cycle, then this is the bottom, then the only way is up. Whereas if you're treating it as we haven't bottomed yet and there's still more to go, we're going down to 14,000, 12,000. Well, we haven't even had a huge retracement. Uh, <laughs> retracement. <laughs> you try to say it. A retracement yet. You know, Bitcoin had a huge retracement every single time and you can see it clearly here can i zoom can i zoom this in i can't zoom it in you saw a crash down just just this chart here it shows it came back up retracement see look crash down came back up we never saw that and if you're classing this as the high all we've done is keep crashing down where's the retracement up so that's what i've been you know looking for as well uh, I do think that this is the end of a full cycle and I feel like we now could possibly be going into a next cycle, a next wave. And it might shock you all because everybody is saying that it's going lower. We're going to see a lower price in Bitcoin. Just like everybody was saying uh, when it was right up here at 60 something thousand dollars. Uh, oh, we're going to a hundred thousand pounds, hundred thousand dollars. You remember that? Everybody was saying we're going to a hundred thousand dollars. You was probably saying it. I was hoping that it could go to $100,000. And it never happened. Everybody was saying it. Now, everybody's saying it's going to, what? $13,000, $12,000. Let's see what happens. Look, it could happen. I'm not saying it is or it isn't. It could happen. And if it does, 
now's going to be the day to do it because it's just, you know, Pi Cycle's just come in at the time of recording this video and this candle, whatever is about to happen today, you know, if it's going to fall, now should be the candle to do it, to print that, to print, uh, print the bottom and the Pi Cycle confirm that actually, yeah, this was the bottom because it just went lower than the last one. So let's see what happens, okay? If it falls, it's going to be a temporary uh, thing. It's going to be short-lived and prices will rise again, I believe. Um, but don't let people fool you. Many people seem to think it's going lower. A lot of the time, people are wrong and something else happens. I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. If you... That was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. If you don't want to miss this stuff, become a Patreon. i got seven tiers. Take your pick. They're seeing this video way before you do. And this is what it's about. Getting in on these videos early, understanding your goals and achievements and where this is going to go. i got a few tiers. Like you can scroll, I'm gonna scroll through. You can take your pick. I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier, this one here, because it unlocks all my posts. You can see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking, all of that. You don't miss nothing. If you want that a little bit more, I've got a CEO tier that gives you access to a VIP Telegram group of mine. And in that group, we've got high crypto profile users, big money. That's all I'm saying. And they know how to make money. They're sharing great projects. We are buying things right now that you cannot see on my YouTube channel because this is what the Patreon's about. We're seeing things, we're buying, we're talking about stuff in here. People in that VIP group bought way before I did. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Because they were talking about it a long time and I was already, you know, talking to my family and doing stuff with my kids and whatnot. So I didn't get a chance to look and go, actually, let me, you know, look into this and buy it. So they were buying up way before I'd even done an alert. So if you don't want to miss that stuff, get in super early. This is the place for you right now, I promise you. Uh, but yeah, you check it out, whichever one's best for you. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.